Mr. Speaker, fellow members of this August Chamber, magandang hapon po sa bawat isa. I speak before you today with a heavy heart on a personal and collective privilege as representative of the second legislative district of Cavite. Moreover, I file this resolution on behalf of a grateful nation to honor a president and a great Filipino. Yesterday, July 31, 2022, the whole nation was saddened by the news of former President Fidel Valdez Ramos passing. He was our leader, being the 12th president of the Republic, our centennial president. FDR was the proud distinction to be one of the best. He was a patriot and a hero. He was a trailblazer and a statesman. He was a father to the nation. In fact, his kababayans fondly call him FVR and tobacco for some, for always sporting his famous unlit cigar. He was 94. I have met President FDR countless times. His public persona as former president and decorated military man is the lead by his private and more prominent figure of a devoted husband, loving father, and family man, aside most Filipinos cherish. And on each occasion, we regularly exchange news on what our respective families are doing and well wishes abound. After all, he was not just our Nino, but we consider him as part of our family. When we speak of President FDR, only one thing comes to mind, Philippines 2000. Though his term as president ran from 1992 until 1998, he dreamed, worked hard for a better Philippines, an industrialized Philippines ready to become a global player. And this remains to be his greatest legacy. Perhaps this is rooted by his great love for our country and our people. Naturally, he based it on his long and extensive service in the armed forces and as secretary of the Department of National Defense. He wanted our country to have peace and stability, economic growth and sustainable development, energy and power generation environmental protection, and streamlined bureaucracy. And we continue to enjoy and reap the fruits of all these to this very day, almost a quarter of a century since. Kaya natin ito, or we can do it, has always been his encouragement, battle cry, and open invitation to all of us. He hurdled and triumphed over crisis from one to another with FDR at the helm. His countrymen knew they were in good hands. Katakot-takot, hindi madali at talagang mabibigat na problema ng bayan ang sinuong at binigyan ng solusyon ni Presidente FDR. In 1992, to combat the ongoing and worsening energy crisis and the perennial power shortages, our predecessors granted him special emergency powers to resolve such. As a result, independent power producers were on the rise and were able to meet our rising demand for electricity in due time, and our economy performed better than expected. Marahil marami sa atin dito ang dinanas ang walang katapusang brownout noong mga panahon na yun. Lahat tayo ay nagtiis gamit ang kandila at lampara o emergency lights para sa iba nating mga nakaluluwag na mga kababayang maitawid lamang ang madilim na gabi. Pero gaya ng kaya natin ito, kinaya natin ang mga blackout at ang mga problema ng mga panahong iyon, kaya ating napahalagahan ang anuman na meron tayo sa ngayon. Sa ilalim ng kanyang administrasyon, naging batas ang Republic Act 8042 o ang Magna Carta for Overseas Workers para sa ating mga bagong bayani. Ang layo ng Migrant Workers Act ay para masiguro na ligtas ang ating mga OFWs laban sa anumang uri ng abuso kasunod ng pagbitay kay Floor Contemplation sa Singapore. Bagamat ginawa ng ating pamahala ng lahat, mailigtas lamang ang buhay ni Floor, ay nabigo ang ating pagsisikap. Towards the end of this administration, the 1997 Asian financial crisis hit, wrecking havoc to our 
and our neighbors' economies. Before that, the Philippines was dubbed as the rising tiger economy in Asia. After being called a sick man years prior, FDR spearheaded economic reforms and encouraged private enterprise by opening up our once closed national economy, inviting more foreign and domestic investment through the Build, Operate, and Transfer program, and reducing corruption. He had built a solid base on which later policies and programs took off. On a personal note, my family is connected with the former president in more ways than one. He was instrumental to my and our family's eventual foray in the noble call of public service. And to most of us here, to say the least, Fidel Valdez Ramos is a friend, a visionary, and a rock. FDR was a good family friend and a contemporary of my father-in-law the late Senator Ramon Revilla Sr., the father of the Public Works Act. Daddy authored Republic Act 8150 or the Public Works and Highways Infrastructure Program Act of 1995. He is our Ninong to our 1998 centennial wedding, dubbed as such by the press of having coincided with the centenary of our independence. FDR was a true visionary, not just in economics and policymaking, but also in politics. My husband, Senator Bong, considers FDR his father in public service. FDR got that proverbial political eye. He not only encouraged but convinced then already famed actor, but neophyte politician Ramon Bong Revilla Jr. to enter public service in 1995. My husband won as vice governor of the great province of Cavite alongside then NBI director and later governor Epimaco Velasco. Also, the former president was more of a mentor to my husband, Senator Bong, and according to our good senator, and I quote, his first and true mentor, end quote. Wala si Bong Revilla sa larangan ng serbisyo publiko kung wala ang isang President FDR. Magkasangga at pinagsamang lakas ng agimat ng kabite at ng dakilang sundalo ng Pangasinan. And like they say, the rest is history. We all followed their examples and trod on the same path set by my father-in-law and husband. During official functions and our numerous encounters, FBR definitely lights up the room and sets the tone. You know how he is there. Being a, re a reverend and elder statesman, FDR never fails to share entertaining and insightful anecdotes of his travels. His wisdom and political genius have rubbed off on this representation and more members of our family, particularly Congressman Jolo Revilla, who considers FDR as an idol. Ang pinakuhuli nga sa kanyang pagiging visionary, ang pagtakbo ni dati at ating pinakamamahal pa rin na Presidente Rodrigo Roa Duterte sa Panguluhan noong 2016. FDR was a rock. He is the father of the party of Lakas CMD, to which our speaker and some of our fellow members of this August chamber belong. My husband is now party co-chairman after he offered the same to Vice President Sara Duterte. FDR may have left us, but his inspiration and ideals will live on as we continue to make our party invigorated as well as grounded. Ikaw ang aming gabay at inspirasyon. Para sa partido, kaya namin ito. Para sa bayan, kaya namin ito. At kami ay magsasama-sama, tulong-tulong bilang kanyang mga lingkod. Maraming salamat, mahal na Pangulo FDR, at kami na ang magpapayabong pa sa inyong ipinunla. As one nation, our thoughts and prayers go out to Ninang and former First Lady Amelita Ming Ramos, their children and grandchildren. Also, we offer our gratitude and condolences to them and pray that they be comforted by the fact that FVR, a great soul, has returned to our Creator. I invite all present in this plenary to stand up and offer a few moments of silence as we remember former President Fidel Valdez Ramos. Salamat.
Rest in peace, President Fidel Valdez Ramos.